Christ having risen from the dead dies no more, death will no longer have dominion over him. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to this Eucharistic celebration we offer this Mass. These days we ask the Lord to cure everybody who is sick from coronavirus, protect our college community, wherever everybody is, to protect families, and to protect healthcare workers. Let us call to my blessings as we celebrate the Eucharist. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sailors, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal mysteries on earth. Bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages and ending. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. the apostles. The apostles and the brothers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles too had accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers confronted him, saying, You entered the house of uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter began and explained it to them step by step, saying, I was at prayer in the city of Joppa, when in a trance I had a vision, something resembling a large sheep coming down, lowered from the sky by its four corners, and it came to me. Looking intently into it, I observed and saw the four-legged animals of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky. I also heard a voice say to me, Get up, Peter, slaughter and eat. But I said, Certainly not, sir, because nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time, a voice from heaven answered, What God has made clean, you are not to call profane. This happened three times, and then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then three men appeared at the house who were house where we were, who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discriminating. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He related to us how he had seen the angel standing in his house, saying, Send someone from Joba to summon Simon, who is called Peter, who will speak words to you, by which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles, too. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, Alleluia. Alleluia. As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. Alleluia. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. Alleluia. Then I will go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. Alleluia. Shepherd, said the Lord, I know my sheep and might know me, 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man, who is not a shepherd, <coughs> and whose sheep are not his own, sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he wants for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. They know mine, and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. This also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we hear just like God has given us commandments. He also gave his son a commandment. And that commandment we hear Jesus reveals to us. This command I have received from my Father. And what was the command? You go and lay down your life for your sheep. That's why he came to this world. He laid down his life. He had power to do that. And also uh, to get back his life. And that is our living. So that we may belong to him. To belong to Jesus is to belong to Jesus wholeheartedly, without petty things. Uh, petty things, uh, we hear the first reading, interesting. That was, there was a lot of prejudice about food, and that is always, in every culture, food is always a problem. Myself, I remember when I uh, ate spaghetti for the first time, I was invited by an Italian priest for a meal, and I was so excited, I'm going to eat this Italian meal. And when the food came to the table, I thought there were worms. I said, I told him, no, I don't eat worms, Father. He said, no, taste it, it's called spaghetti. <laughs> so <laughs> I tasted the worms, but uh, it ended up to be one of the most delicious uh, food you can taste. And now I'm no, no longer afraid of a spaghetti, but what was kept keeping me away from it before it was in my head, not the food itself. The same thing when I went to Lake Charles, uh, that is uh, in Louisiana, the first time, of course the only time I was there. Uh, the first evening I was taken out for dinner and it was so delicious, and it was only when we were back in the car, they asked me, how did it taste? Very good. You know what it was? Chicken. No, it was alligator. <laughs> so I still have that great joy, how I enjoyed it. So uh, what keeps us away from one another is in the head, not in reality. And that is why the Lord wants to break away this chain of distancing ourselves from, from, from one another not coronavirus time, but uh, when we are healthy, uh, there are so many reasons people find to distance, to differentiate themselves with, from one another. And a tray is brought from heaven. It contains all kinds of animals. Uh, the Jews, their religion did not allow them to eat anything that moves, is edible. No. They, they had food which was kosher and which was not. And Peter is taught, eat everything there. He tells the Lord, no, I cannot eat because you know I follow very strict 
uh, religious diet because that's what my faith says. And the Lord tells him, no, what I have declared clean, nobody should declare unclean. And he still, he was not like St. Joseph who accepted the first time. Peter is still doubtful. I think Peter always needed something to be told to him three times because uh, we hear that uh, this dream came to him three times and then finally he got it and then people come to get him and uh, for the baptism of Gentiles what is happening you can eat Gentile food that's all right because Gentiles can also eat the food of the people of God the Holy Spirit has come to everybody, it has no discrimination to everybody. Those who are Jews, those who are not, so long as they have life, uh, faith. And that is why Jesus came to die for us, that we may all be one like he is one. And also we have that conviction. Today, uh, we know that Fridays, we are encouraged not to eat meat, especially Fridays of Lent. We eat fish. But the, the main idea was fasting, abstinence, self-denial. Of course, there are people who never eat meat because they are allergic. There are others who feast on Fridays on the best part of fish. What kind of fasting they are doing. Today, Christianity in Christianity, everything is allowed. But also people go, uh, they push the button so much that nothing is sacred anymore. Even though Jesus has given us, God has given us that breakthrough, we accept one another wholeheartedly. But yes, there is that distancing from sin. If it is sinful, don't do it, don't touch it. Uh, but if it is not, God has allowed it. Let us pray. God, our Father, we come before you during these times of distress. We ask you, Lord, to bless, to bless the world, your people, and shield them from coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, you are prayer. We pray, Lord, for this state of May. Help, us, help the people who live here. For the administration. Help health workers. Help all populations that coronavirus will not spread, but will be eradicated, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for St. Joseph community, all the members, wherever they may be, protect them, Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our graduating students during this week, Lord, help them, those who are still doing their exams, give them success. Those who are finished, Give them success in life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for those who are sick, that you hear them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the dead, that we may receive eternal life in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, accept our prayers and petitions through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which have us given human hands made to become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and bark of human hands to become our spiritual thing. Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, 
the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. Receive all Lord, we pray. These are friends of your exultant church, thus you have given her cause for such great gladness. Grant also that the gift we bring may be a fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is good and right and just. Our duty and our salvation, at all times we are praying you, O Lord, but in this time of our fourth Lord, you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb, one slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with past for joy, if the land, if the people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic coast say together the unending aim of your glory, as they are praying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed will come in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, we shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when suppose ended, he took the chance. The ones more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death, and resurrection, we offer in God the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your, in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered by, into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the, the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may increase and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by the teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious, we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I gave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and bless us with grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, for live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but always say the word of my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Lord, with kindness upon your people, look and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries, we attain in their pledge the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Holy Father's prayer for the end of coronavirus. <clears throat> o men, you shine, shine continuously along our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, help of the, the sick, who at the cross were near, near to the pain of Jesus, keeping your faith firm. You salvation of all people, know what we need, and we trust that you will provide for those needs, so that, so that as a can of godly joy and celebration may return after this moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father, and to do what Jesus tells us, he who took our sufferings upon himself, and took up our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas, we who are put to the test, and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. It is through the cross of our Lord, in which we are united closer to Jesus and to one another. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, Mass is ended. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Thank you for coming and have a pleasant day in the world. Me too, Father.